Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have a little bit of fun. I'm going to do a quick get ready with me using some of the things that I have been loving lately. Real quick and easy makeup look. And then I have a bunch of really cute clothes to show you. I kind of scored on Mother's Day with a bunch of fun goodies. And so I want to show you these cute clothes that I'm going to take with me. I'm going on a trip to Miami as well as getting ready to go to Europe in June. So some of these cute clothes clothes are going to come with me but I wanted to go ahead and share those with you because I feel like they are perfect for spring and summer and then I've got a few staples that I feel like most of us would need in our wardrobe as well. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look using some of the things that I'm loving lately as well as seeing my little Mother's Day haul then let's go ahead and get started. Good morning everyone! I am so excited to be back filming and I have a bunch of goodies that have sort of stacked up on me. So I'm going to do a quick get ready with me sharing some of the things that I have been using just for quick and easy makeup and then I have a bit of a fun fashion haul that I'm so excited to share with you. So first I want to give a little shout out to my Blissfully Fed group. I have been busy leading the group and we had the best season ever. And I know some of you that are watching participated and just wanted to give you a big high five. We are on the last day of the Blissfully Fed detox and it was just been such an inspiring season literally one of the best. So thank you, thank you for having trust in me and the program. And I just want to say thank you for coming along on this adventure with me. So much fun. Now I have been doing some quick and easy makeup the last few weeks and one little new combo that I have been loving lately is using these two color science products. These are both SPFs. This is the Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield Glow. And this one is a little bit too glowy just on its own. And I was telling Angela Morgan that when I was getting my Biologique Recherche facial done and she was like you have to mix the Sun Forgettable Total Protection Flex and I have this one actually in Fair. Um, you mix a little bit of Flex with the glow and it ends up being the perfect foundation combo because it's not too glowy but it's not too matte and I've just been loving the ease of slapping this on in the morning. So let me show you what I do is I just take a little few drops of the glow. Yeah, that's the glow, which is really pretty, but I feel like when I wear it alone, it's just a little too glowy. I know this is from the lady who loves a good glow. And then I take the flex and you guys, when you first squirt out the flex, it comes out white. And then as I mix the two of these together, it is going to become the perfect little foundation color. So I am going to then just use my fingers, actually just kind of rub it in like this, and then put this on my skin like I would any of my SPFs. And then just take a minute to let this sink in and this is quick and easy makeup on the go. And then it will sort of adjust to my skin tone and leave me with a really quick and easy foundation that has protection as well. Here is what that combination looks like. And as you can see, you can still see my skin shining through. It's not going to give you a ton of coverage, but it is going to give you a nice healthy glow. And then what I do is I take my favorite concealer of the moment, and this is the Sicily Concealer. I have it in shade one. And 
Literally, I am a believer. As I had mentioned before, I had bought this, but in shade two, and I just didn't really think that it was worth the money. And now I'm just a complete believer because it brightens up so much underneath my eyes. So what I do is I will just take a little bit. This has a lot of coverage and you don't need a lot. So although it is expensive, I think you will be pleasantly surprised at how long a tube will last you. So I will just go ahead and put this on my eyes and then you can also use it on any other part of your face that you need a little bit more coverage. So, so I'm just gonna pat this in and brighten up underneath my eyes. Okay, we have brightened up underneath my eyes and then I like to warm up my skin and I have been back in love with my Le Beige Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. It is just so good. It's fun to pull this out again. And I just take my It Cosmetics Heavenly Complexion Brush and then I am going to just warm up my skin just a bit around the perimeter here. And again, I'm just doing a quick little makeup routine today, kind of makeup on the go. Then for blush, I have been using this beauty counter cheeky clean cream blush in chai since I received it. So these are awesome you guys. They are such good blushes and this color I just love because it is the perfect like dusty rose but I just feel like it goes with everything and almost can use it like bronzer blush. And I have just been using this. It just sort of melts into my skin and looks really natural. So I've been going with a lot of cream products lately and it just really gives you a nice little glow on the skin. Don't worry, everything sort of sinks in in a minute. Then I will take my Sante, which I'm loving. This is Westman Atelier. And I will take this color and then I will just kind of pop that on the top of my cheekbones. The beauty of cream products is that if you mess something up, you can always take a bit of your foundation or just a brush and then you can kind of melt it into the skin till you get the desired effect. So I'm going with a little bit of a glowy look this morning. What I'll do is then just kind of rub my fingers together and just kind of make sure everything is where I want it to be. Then for eyes, I have a perfect little single shadow color. And this is actually from Shiseido. And these are these little gel pop eyeshadows. And I have it in number four. I believe it is Sube Sube Beige. But let me just show you the color here. And this is the shade right here. And it has just such a pretty texture. These glide on beautifully on the eyes. And I just love this color because it has a bit of warmth to it. It's going to add a little bit of depth. It's not going to add a bunch of shine to my eyes. This is just what I'm wanting for a one and done shadow. And I will just use what I have on my finger first just to show you. But in general, I like to use a brush, which I will pull out in two seconds. So what I have been doing is just taking this right here, dipping it in, and I have just been placing this all over the lid and into the shadow. I just love this formula because it's almost like a little bit of a gel-like formula. So it is going to stay on 
but it also sort of just sinks into your eye look. So it looks a little bit more natural, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't look like I'm wearing a bunch of eyeshadow. It just sort of meshes in with the overall eye look. And that's such a good color. It's just going to add a little bit of warmth and depth. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like it makes my eyes look a little bit more green when I am wearing this. I could be just crazy, but I've been wanting to play up, trying to bring out a little bit more green. And when I wear peaches and a little bit more warm tones on my eyes it tends to make the green come out a bit more and then i finally picked up a few of the new chanel these are the precision eye definer pencils i did have to order blue jean i've been so excited for that one because you guys know i love like a taupey eye with a pop of blue but I might have two other favorites already. So I have picked it up in Black Jade, which is outstanding. This is a must have eyeliner. I love this color so much. And then I picked it up in Berry. And if you have been watching me for a while, you will maybe remember that I fell in love with Purple Chalk, which was this beautiful lighter, purple shade that that was a good one that would make your eyes pop especially if you had green or blue eyes I always thought that one made them pop a little bit but now they have this color in berry which at first I thought online that I would not like that it would bring out a little bit of redness in my eyes honestly this is a perfect color because this is a muted purple tone. It does not have too much red in it because some of the Chanel eyeliners have been a little bit too red toned and they would actually make me look kind of like rabbit eyes, that kind of pink eye look. But this one is not. Like when I put this on and wore it the other day, I fell in love and I was like, ooh, this is giving me purple chalk vibes. So you guys will see this in action next time. But today I want to pull out Black Jade because it is my ultimate favorite at the moment. And this is the tone Black Jade. You guys, it is so beautiful on the eyes. And it is also neutral enough. That's what I would say about all of these eye pencils is that they are a little pop of color, but they are muted enough that if you are not somebody who likes to wear colored eyeliner, um, that I think you would still like these. So the difference so in so the difference with these eye pencils they used to sell these but it had like a little cushion at the end of it where you would smudge it out and now it's got a little brush so that you can smoke it out with the little brush and i think i had mentioned the other day that i had been having some trouble with my eyeliner smudging and such all over and then lo and behold these new ones get launched <laughs> the precision eye definers, and that is a thing of the past. So I'm in love with these eyeliners, guys. They are so good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to wiggle between my lash line here to define my eyes with this black jade. I'm first just getting close to the lash line, guys, just wiggling through. And then I can come and do a little bit more intensity um, closer to the lash line. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of this color close to the three-fourths right under here. And then I will brush this out a little bit using the brush it comes with right here and you can soften that line come 
come over to the other side. Isn't that such a good color? I just feel like it pops the eyes, but not being too intense. And I just love it. The next I'm going to, of course, put on mascara. And I truly have fallen in love with this beauty counter. This is the big all-in-one mascara. I pretty much stick with mascaras that I love and I'm very loyal to them. I will try things from time to time. And this one actually kind of blew me away. This is a clean mascara that is actually really, really good. So I'm going to put that on. So I'm going to put that on real quick. Okay, guys, simple eye look. This is just easy, everyday makeup. One other thing I'm loving lately is my daughter is home from college. So that means I can be on my brow game again and have her do my brows for me. So that's been kind of fun. And then I'm going to slightly set everything. And I have been really loving this Wayne Goss. This is the weightless powder. And I like to perf and I like to use this with a little brush so that I can set everything here. And this will then kind of mesh in with the skin and the glow will start to shine through again. So that's what I like about this powder is that it is going to do what it is supposed to do. It's supposed to kind of set everything, but it is very finely milled, <laughs> but it is very finely milled and it feels really lovely on the skin. So, and then of course, I like to go back in with what I call the glow maker. This is my Sisley bronzer, my La Mer fluffy brush. And I'll just take a little bit of this just like that and come through and buff everything together, bring back a little bit of glow. Then I'm going to finish off this really quick and easy look with a little pop of color. And I love this Sisley Fito Rouge Shine in Sheer Raspberry. This is the color right here, but it is so perfect because it really does just sort of lift your complexion and it is also not too bright. Okay guys, this is the final look of the day, quick and simple makeup. And then to finish off, of course, we're gonna end with fragrance of the day. And my favorite combination lately has been these two Chloe fragrances mixed together. So you guys have heard me talk about the Atelier de Fleurs. This one is Cedrus, a beautiful woody floral. And then I picked up the vanilla planifolia. And you guys know I am a huge vanilla fragrance lover, but this one is perfect for spring and summer because this is again a light and airy vanilla scent. And I had to laugh because you guys know I love Creed Sublime Vanille. And if you like that one, you are going to really like this one as well. It has this sort of light and airy, fluffy element to it. And then when you combine it with the woody 
floral in this. The two of these together make a completely different fragrance, but it just smells so good. So I love this one on its own as well, and it is going to be a light and bright vanilla. So I would say this is not going to be one of these super sweet vanillas. This is not going to be one of these super kind of deep warm vanillas. This one's going to be on this slightly powdery airy vanilla, like a little bit like a cloud or marshmallow effect of vanilla. All of these fragrances are meant to be kind of layered so you can have a little fun and create your own. And so what I like to do is take this one. This is one of these step out of the shower, gorgeous, fresh, invigorating fragrances. And I'll put a little bit of that on. It's gonna smell so good in here. So love this one and I'm so happy because a few of you picked this up when I was talking about it before and you have fallen in love too. So yes, it comes out a little bit stronger and woodier, but the dry down of this is just, you're gonna smell so good. It just is amazing. And then I will put a little bit of the vanilla on top and then it just makes this vanilla fragrance shine. So on its own, it's almost a bit like too soft, like I would want a little bit more oomph to it. And then if you combine it with this woody floral, these two just are so complimentary and it smells so good in here. It just amps up this fragrance so well. I really think the combination of this vanilla woody floral, this one's a little airier, has slightly powdery. I wouldn't say it's super powder bomb, but it just kind of works together and it just smells so good. Now, as I said, I ended up having to get the big bottle of this one because at the time when I was buying it, they did not have the smaller bottle and the smaller ones are 130 and the big ones are 250. I'm kind of happy I have this because this is like a great everyday scent and kind of whipping through this one because it's such a great like fresh out of the shower fragrance, but you could get too little. If you're wanting to do the layering combo, you could get the smaller size in both of these and they just smell so good. So that has been my favorite little layering combo fragrance du jour. And then I'm quickly going to run through some fashion finds that I got. I will try to do a video of me wearing them so you can see them in action. But you guys, I've got so many cute things. Some of these were gifted to me from Mother's Day. So it's a little bit of a Mother's Day haul, as well as a few things that I picked up because I am going to a work conference in Miami. And as I said, I don't really know how to dress for hot, humid weather. Um, again, case in point, I'm wearing a sweater still and it is May 15th. <laughs> Um, we're still in sweater mode out here, jeans and sweater. So I do have a few fun things to show you that I'm going to be taking on my travels with me. So I'm going to start with two cute dresses that I got for Mother's Day. And the first one is this adorable. And this is from Travada. This is Birds of Paradise. And you guys, they have so many cute prints. So this is like the perfect dress because it is flowy, but for someone like myself, too much fabric can just swallow me up because I am not super tall. And I just love this dress so much. It's little tulips, guys. It is just so pretty. Love the print. Of course, it's got a little pop of pink in here as well. And this cute dress also has pockets. So this is a nice, casual, cute, floaty dress here. Hits right above the knee on me. Somebody who is tall, it may be a little bit more mini, but on myself, it kind of hits me right where I need it to hit. So I will try this on for you, you guys. It is so cute. And again, this 
brand is so cute. Like they have the cutest blouses. I've been a big fan of this brand for a bit. Another cute dress I got, and this was again a gift for Mother's Day. And this is from Cezanne. And it is basically a really pretty eyelet dress. And this is more of a sheath. So this one isn't going to have like a lot of form fittingness to it. It's got a pretty little slip that comes underneath it. So there's going to be no, so there's going to be no see-throughness to this, but, but it's got a beautiful little ruffle top and it is just a sweet dress. So I love the quality of this dress here. And I'm sorry, the first dress I picked it up in a size extra small. And then the Cezanne I picked up in a size two. And I will say again, if you are well endowed, you're gonna wanna size up because even on myself underneath the armpits a little bit, like if I lift my arms up a little bit, I almost thought about going up a size. I picked this up in the size two and I almost thought about returning it and picking it up for the size four, but I think the size four is going to be a little bit too wide for myself. And again, when I try this on for you, I will show you, but when I lift my arms up, it just felt a little tight, but it's not like I'm going to be going around and flapping my arms like that. <laughs> And this one again hits me pretty well. It is a little bit short for me, but I am 5'3". But for someone who is tall, the Cezanne dress would definitely be more mini on you. Then I found the most adorable blouse, you guys. I just had to have it. And this is from Johnny Wass. And I just love this more of a tunic blouse here. So it is going to be a bit longer. And when I tried this on, it was just one of those that was so cute, I had to have it. Is this just the most adorable pattern or what? I just love, love, love it. Super fun, and I thought this would be great to take to Miami. And the way that I had it on, I had like a little camisole that I was wearing underneath my sweater when I was trying this on. So you can wear this like buttoned all the way up or you can wear this more open with just a little tunic and your pants or jeans. That's what I was wearing it just slightly open. And I have this one in a size small. I don't even know if they offer it in an extra small. This is just what they had in the store and that the way that I would wear this I would feel like this would have been the right size anyways because I'm not wearing it super fitted and I just felt like this screamed Miami to me so I was super excited I picked this up to take on the trip with me and then another little top that I found that I thought was perfect to take on my trip and this is from Dex and this is a cute little crochet sweater top it's just such a cute little piece right here. And again, you will have to wear a little camisole underneath. I just had a white cami on with it, or you could get a nude color cami to wear underneath. And it is a little bit cropped, I would say. And it is a little bit cropped, but not too much, if you know what I mean. I'm not somebody who likes to show my belly off, but this is just a really sweet piece. And I bought two pairs of pants. I'm trying to shift out of jeans. And I picked up these perfect pull-on linen pants here, you guys. These are just like your perfect wide-legged linen pants. And this is from the brand Velvet. That is the Graham and Spencer brand. I really like that brand as well. And these are so cute, you guys. They've got little pockets here, but they're very flattering. But, but they're actually quite flattering. And even though I am short, these totally work for me. So these would probably be, again, a little bit more cropped for most tall people, but these work for me. And I just love these. I paired this with a black tank and then a little duster sweater. And that just is something I feel like would be perfect down there. A little bit cooler, but you're still put together because I am going to a work conference. And I just feel like I need to step it up 
and not wear jeans. So when I was talking to the sales associate, I was telling her that I was wanting to shift a little bit out of my jeans and sweater mode, but that I still was a casual girl. And she said, do you have any of these sanctuary cargo pants? And my daughter is always wearing cargo pants and looks so cute. And they have really cute pockets on the end. They are just super comfortable, you guys. And again, this is a true cargo pant. It's got the little pockets there. And then on the bottom, they are cinched. So again, this is helpful for somebody who is not super tall. I can still wear these. For somebody who is going to be taller, these are gonna be more little crop pants on you. And these ones I got in a size 25, and I will be honest, they give a little bit. They're a little bit loose, but that's the way that they're supposed to fit. So super cute little cargo pants. And they had these in several different colors. They just didn't have any other color in my size. I probably would have gotten the sort of khaki looking ones, but I like this. I think it's gonna be cute with just a white t-shirt, some sneakers, real easy kind of upgrade, getting out of wearing jeans and wearing a little bit more of these cute cargo pants. And then last but not least, I got the cutest little cardigan set. So I'm a huge fan of the brand Cool and they have this adorable cardigan set. I have to show you that just screamed Abby and my daughter picked this up for me. She was like, I knew you would love this. And so this is just such a cute, lightweight striped cardigan and it's got a really pretty texture to it too. So this one is, although it is a sweater, it is cotton and very breathable. And then it has this adorable little tank top that you can wear underneath. And this is just such a fun set. I do have to laugh. This was one of those Instagram made us buy it items. I had sent this to my daughter and told her it was so cute. And I think that she went and told my husband that that's what I want for Mother's Day. And hey, I love it. It is just so adorable. We are also getting ready for our big trip to Europe this summer in June. So Zoe and I are going to attempt to pack lightly and are trying to pick and choose a few key items to take with us. A little bit more like a capsule wardrobe. Thus, I think those two sets of pants are definitely going to be no-brainers to take with us. And then we have been on the hunt for very comfortable sneakers. So we have been doing a little bit of research. I have like several pairs coming to the house that we have ordered. So if you are in the market for a comfortable pair of sneakers that you can walk on all day, I'm going to try to find those for us. <laughs> you have a recommendation for me um, of any comfortable shoes that are still stylish, but that can basically walk miles and miles throughout Europe, that would be amazing. I need any of those kind of recommendations because I am not the best packer and I just really want to go a little bit more minimal because we all know I'm probably going to pick a few things up while I am in Paris and London. And again, if you have any recommendations of places that I need to go or eat or stay, let me know because we are getting super excited for that trip in June. But I just feel like I totally scored on on the Mother's Day front, some really fun pieces to be wearing. And again, I will try to do a little fashion show for you guys and show them in action. But it is so good to be back filming. I hope everybody is doing well and I will be pumping out some fun content this coming week. So thank you for watching and I'll be back with another video soon.